Sinead O'Connor's family revealed how much she adored her fans as they encouraged them to say their final goodbyes today. Thousands of people are expected to line the streets of Bray and County Wicklow ahead of her private burial. So far, heartfelt notes, gifts and flowers have been placed outside of the home where the singer lived for 15 years. In a statement ahead of her funeral, her family said, Sinead loved living in Bray and the people in it. With this procession, her family would like to acknowledge the outpouring of love for her from the people of County Wicklow and beyond, since she left last week to go to another place. Read more. Kanye West's wife Bianca almost exposes all in very see-through jumpsuit the Gardy have asked that people gather, if they would like to say a last goodbye to the singer, from 10. 30 a.m. on Tuesday along the Bray Seafront. The procession will begin at the Harbour Bar end of Strand Road and will continue past her former home. Amongst her loved ones, singer Imelda May, Mundy, and Damien Dempsey are all expected to attend the funeral. Yesterday, 30 feet tall white letters which spelt out the words Arashanade along Ida Hart, were seen on a hillside in the Irish seaside town. Don't miss. Jeremy Clarkson shares surprising reason he wants Tories to win election, revealed, Sinead O'Connor's cause of death update given by coroner, latest, Sandra Bullock's longtime partner Brian Randall dies after hidden battle, latest, the Tenth Man's executive creative director Richard Seabrook, who was behind the tribute, said, so much has been said about Sinead since her recent passing, I'm not sure what is left to say. We just wanted to take the opportunity to mark the moment with a bold statement that symbolizes what she meant to this little country of ours. Fans have been mourning the loss of Sinead since her death on July 26. An autopsy has since been completed to determine the cause of her death. Just three weeks before her death, Sinead revealed she had been planning to write more music. She was initially due to gig again in 2022, but cancelled her plans following the death of her 17-year-old son Shane. In one of her final tweets, the singer told fans she had been living as an undead night creature since he passed. She is survived by her three other children, Jake Reynolds, Roisin Waters, and Yeshua Bonadio.